As more people get vaccinated, COVID-19 cases are starting to fall in North Texas. But drive a few hours outside of DFW, and it's a different story. In this week's episode of Yolitix, we hit the road to Mount Pleasant, a small town about two hours northeast of Dallas. We're in East Texas here, where COVID-19 this summer changed the fabric of life there. This might be the most Texas thing you see today. The Titus County Courthouse plays country music on the square. Mount Pleasant here is the county seat, sitting between Dallas and Texarkana on Interstate 30. We have everything you need, well, everything but a target. So a lot of the... <laughs> Wait, but, everything but a target. Where, where do you go for your target, Texarkana? Well, we go to Texarkana and Rockwall. For- we took our Yolitix podcast on the road this week to meet Terry Scoggin. He runs the Titus Regional Medical Center. And he admitted that Titus County has something else it doesn't like bragging about. We saw 26 deaths in the month of September in this hospital. We've never seen that in the history of 70 years of this hospital. 70 Uh, years. 70 years, we've never seen that many deaths in this hospital. Those record deaths are the result of a vaccination problem. Rural Texans are dying from COVID at twice the rate of city folks. It was so worse here because of the underlying conditions in rural communities. We have a higher heart disease rate, higher diabetes rate, higher obesity rate, um, higher smoking rate, all the things that make your underlying health worse. That's rural America. It's not all bad news, though. John Henderson is also on this week's podcast. He runs the Texas Organization of Rural and Community Hospitals and told us that some anti-vaxxers are now secretly getting vaccinated. There's a rural hospital in Central Texas that has actually started vaccinating secretly uh, people that who are publicly very anti-vax. And what they've been telling them is, we can keep a secret. Here's something else unconventional. When hospital beds filled up in Titus County during the Delta variant, paramedics made house calls to check up on COVID patients. They actually recovered quicker at home than they did in the hospital. So, because I think, you know, you're in your own bed. You have your own TV. But Mount Pleasant is now permanently parking two of its four ambulances, half the fleet, not enough paramedics to staff them. 200 nurses work at the hospital, but there are job openings for 65 more. The pandemic has simply worn out medical workers everywhere. Perhaps no place more, though, than the scattered hospitals across rural Texas. In Mount Pleasant, I'm Jason Whiteley.